Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. Uh, this is something quite different than normal as you can see already uh, a face cam is not what we usually do. Um, today I'm going to try something different. Um, I have some friends who are getting back into the Pokemon trading card game. Uh, they got me all hyped up back into the game uh, and I actually bought a few packs. Basically seven from the or was it the Celestial Storm pack? So we're gonna try, see what we get out of it. A sort of pack opening. And I might, if I get the right sources, check how much they are actually worth. And see if my investment is actually, well, gained back in the worth of the cards. But most likely it isn't. <laughs> So, without further ado, let's hand right on in. Alright, uh, let's start off with the first card, the Jirachi. Now, I don't remember how to open the packets without damaging them, so some people might hate me for that one. But it's fine, it's fine. Alright, first deck. Someone changed around, that's weird. Alright, let's start up. First one. An Empoleon immediately ho- Wow, okay. Uh, that's a very nice beginning. A holo Empoleon. That's one. No way. <laughs> Levian GX. Oh man. This first pack. Already that good. A mud cap, normal one this time. A slaken. Reggie Steel. Sneasel. This is a very good pack already. Jinju. I think I already have that one in my old collection. Cacturn. I'm gonna skip over the ones that aren't important right now. Waylord. C dot. A useless energy card. And a Feromosa Holo. Alright, that's a very good pack. I mean, look at this. Just take these away. Look at these four. I mean, that's amazing. Especially the GX. That that one's amazing. I am very happy with this. All right. Now for the second pack. Also a Jirachi. All right. Let's start off. A Masquerade. Spinnerack. Another energy card. Medicham. That's pretty nice. Meditant. Slugma. Not that great of pack opening yet. Energy card. Wilmer. I think I've already had that one. Yeah, but a different different look. But louder. And the last one. Another from Musa Holo. Well, already got a double. <laughs> That's pretty decent. The only decent card from it is this one. I think the rarity of that one isn't that high since I've opened two packs and I've gotten two out of them already. Alright. Alright, let's start off with this one. The next, I've got three of these. Come on, open. Yes. Alright, let's start up. 
another Wilmer. Well, got three of those already. Torchic. Another energy card. Cladle. Someone told me uh, back in the day when I was a little child that this one was a legendary, even though it had an evolution. At that point, legendaries didn't have an evolution, so that's pretty weird. I never believed them though. Wasn't that stupid. An Onyx. Clamperl. Cacturn. Yet again. Tinju. Another double. And this last, a Sneasel. No holos, no GXs, just some basic stuff. That's fine. Alright, for the fourth pack. Man, nothing beats the first pack at this point. The first pack was amazing. The rest, eh, it kind of disappoints actually. Alright. Let's start off again. Swampert, pretty nice, pretty nice. Turquoise, an energy card. Papitar, oh, if only it was the evolution. Meditoid, Reggie Ice, <laughs> Reggie Ice, Reggie Steel, I only need Reggie Gigas, I think. And there's also Reggie Rock. Full beat and mine them. But wait a minute, those are eight cards, not ten. Or did I make a mistake? Huh? Somehow there's only eight cards in this one. That's weird. If someone knows how that's even possible, uh, please let me know in the comments. Alright, last of these with the front page. Let's open it up. Hopefully there's more than 10 in this one. Alright, oh I already saw what it was. It's the third holo Formosa. <laughs> if anyone wants a Formosa, <laughs> let me know. Laudred, already have that one but a different picture, I think. Helio. <laughs> That's nice, that's a legendary if I remember correctly from Sun and Moon, if I'm correct. Scyther with a pretty epic forefront. Wow! <laughs> a Polistan GX, nice. This is a good one. I've got a Holo, a legendary, and GX. That's freaking amazing. Lombre. Combuscan. An energy card. Ball boy. Fan P. And Love Disc. Well that's a pretty decent pretty decent pack, if I say so myself. I mean look at that. That's amazing. Alright, let's scoot them all over out of the screen. The one with Rayquaza at the front. Now I'm very curious if that actually even affects what's inside, but I just love the Pokemon Rayquaza a lot. So hopefully I'll get it, but I doubt it. Chances are very low. Alright, let's start off with the first one. Claydol again, a few doubles. Minior. Torchic, I think I've already had that one. Another energy card, which is not needed. Another love disc. Figaro, pretty nice. Beldum, one of my favorite Pokemons. Of course, the end evolution. Sableye. Oricorio, don't know that one. It's probably one from the uh, black and white or beyond because those I don't know as well. And another Formosa. <laughs> That's the fourth Holo Formosa. That has to be 
a very common card. Probably the most common holo there is. Very last deck. I'm very curious what I got. Come on. Right, one is a bit discolored. Might not even be picked up on the camera. Let's check. First up, a Huntail. Spinnerack. Medicham. Meditant, yet again. Slugma, yet again. Pelipper. Love Disc, oh my, what a load of doubles, man. Loudrat. Beldum, yet again, and Loudrat also yet again. <gasps> That's a full art GX Lunala. <laughs> okay, that's pretty darn decent, if I say so myself. These cards, right now, they are the ones who aren't special, but they are new to me. Then we've got the doubles right over here, together with the energy cards, which I do not want to gather, of course. And the specials. The Lunala GX, full body. The four Formosa Holos. Then the Pelosand, full body GX. Solgaleo, or however you pronounce it, I don't know for certain. Registeel. Alivian GX and Polian Holo. I like this one a lot because this is for my most favorite one the Pearl, Diamond, and Platinum series. I love those. I've played the game like 20 times from front to back. And Reggie Eyes. So these are all the ones that I have. Now let's try and find if I can actually estimate the worth of all this. Alright, um, so I've done a little bit of research and some of them I couldn't find. Um, but let's start off with the ones I can find. So first up is the Sneasel. That one, let's go by the lowest um, price available. At one dollar. So I'm going to transfer that to euros because I spent euros. Uh, that should be about 71 cents. Uh, let's start off with the next. Alright, so the energy cards I couldn't find. So we are gonna skip the energy cards. Just say they're worthless. To be fair, completely fair with this. As you can see here, four of these cacturns were sold for, well, 4.91. So divide that by four, and that is how much this cacturn is worth. So a bit above 120. That's pretty decent for one card, seeing as how I paid two euros fifty for uh, ten cards. Around about some of them actually had eight for some reason. Alright, here we've got the four times Waylord sold for uh, $5.35 divided by four. Pretty decent money. Together with the Cacton, that's about. Well, it's very close to actually paying for one entire pack. That's a pretty decent deal. Over here, we've got the four times Pokemon Metatite for one dollar so divided by four about 25 cents well, this is a bit weird because you've got the exact same one sold for five bucks one sold for one buck um, as far as I can tell they're both exactly the same 
So I'm just going to go for one buck to make it at least a bit believable. So that's 25 cents for this card. Alright, same problem. Uh, one dollar versus four dollar seventy-eight. Again, I don't believe that the love disc is worth a dollar. Just the love disc. So I'm going to say that it's twenty-five cents. So it's again twenty-five cents. Twenty-five cents. The spinner rack, that is. So I can see the the slugma is about fifty cents. Uh, Melodyne, it goes for 25 cents. Well, 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 would you look at that? A buck for the Medicham. The Loudred is worth 25 cents yet again. It's worth 1 buck 84. I actually didn't suspect that. Well, I'm very happy with that one. Another Love Disc. And we already searched that one up, so I'm just going to put that one times two. Beldum. I see below that I see one for four for one euro, so let's just say it's 25 cents yet again. Alright, that, that was all my doubles. Now let's head off to my non doubles, but also not that very special. Two lombres for 213, that means it's about 1716, that's pretty decent. Let's see here. Okay, I didn't expect that at all. You've got Clampo right at the top. Four for four seventy nine. That's a pretty decent deal. It's above one euro. I quite like that. All right, mine them. Twenty five cents. That was to be expected. Sneasel. Just a bit more than twenty five cents. C dot four seventy nine. Which equals to, well, about 120. That's very decent. We didn't expect that one. Right, one poppy tar is worth 1.04 dollars. Four for 174. That would be, well, that's actually more decent than normal. It at least goes above the 25 cents. Now the turquoil turquoil uh, is worth just about 120, 125 in between there. Waylord is worth a lot actually. It's worth 125 at the very least. So 130 for 4 that would mean it's well, again above the 25 cents, which makes me happy. Huntail, I figured it would have been worth more than that. Well, alright, nothing to do about it. That's about 40 cents. Another spinner rack, so we'll just put that one up times two. One mascarine is worth one buck. That's pretty decent. Another keg turn, let's just write that one off as a times two. One buck. The chin chow, that's pretty decent, pretty decent. Now I'm very curious for the next one. The slaking, that has to be worth something, right? A few moments later. Somehow I can't find uh, a slaking that isn't holo, even though I do not have a holo. So let's just write it off at one buck. I think that's decent for slaking, right? I mean if a chinchu is worth more than that, then that surprises me. Alright, Baltoy is worth 50 cents. A Swampert is worth a whopping $2.15! I am very happy about that one. Onyx is 150 for 4. Figaroth! Let's see, let's see. 25 cents for Figaroth. 4 Pelipers for 1 buck. 25 cents. Slugma, I think I've already searched that one, so let's double up that one. Same goes for Torchic, but I know that last time I couldn't find the proper one, so maybe I can find it at this side. Yes, here it is. 4 for 183, so I've got two of those, so it's about 90 cents. 25 cents for the Minior. 
Another clay doll, which I thought was quite nice with about one buck, if I remember correctly. I didn't think a, s a sable eye would be worth that much. What's about 125 a piece? We'd already searched the them. Let's just double up that one. Another love disc, so triple that one. Four four beats for 164. It's about 41 cents. Actually, exactly 41 cents. My God, the side there is worth about 250. That's that's amazing. I'm really curious. Is a side? If the Scyther is only worth 250, how much is the Legendaries worth and the GXs? Oh, I'm very curious. Four Combuscans, so that's 41 cents, yet again. Alright, the Oricorio, 25 cents. Matkip. Three for two bucks. It's actually pretty decent, more than I would have expected. 25 cents on top of it. Another Meditite, let's just double that one. And another Medicham, let's double that one as well. So now comes our favorite part checking the legendaries, holos, and the GXs. Let's head right on in. The Red Eyes is worth 184. Now that's pretty damn decent. So I can't find the Theramosa for some reason. Well, I think I spelled it correctly as well, yeah. So I've got four of those. Let's just write those four together down for one buck. Even though it's holo, it's apparently not that rare. So let's just write them all off together as one buck. All right, four Reggie Steels for 527. It's a pretty decent deal. But I only got one of them, so I have to divide that. Well, that's... That's disappointing. A holo... Napoleon is worth but one buck ten. I had to switch back to the other side for the Lunala GX. Um, though that is the Japanese version, I got the English version. It's the exact same picture, just a different language. So I'm guessing that the price is about right. So this one I'm very happy with. 5.52. That's that's decent. If I were in America, that would have paid for two packages already. This is what I was waiting for. This is something good. Not as good as L the Lunala. But still, this one isn't legendary as far as I can tell. So, that would give me three bucks fifty. I am very happy with that. Uh, I can choose between three bucks and seven bucks twenty-five. But let's just through choose three bucks to make sure that it's fairly even. And the very last card. The Solgaleo is worth 140. That's amazing. I actually I spent 17 euros 50 on all the seven packages. The total worth of all those packages combined, after searching every single item, turns out to be 38 euros and 99 cents. That's a profit of 21 euros and 49 cents. That's amazing. I did not expect that. Of course, there is some, you know, differences in what it would actually be worth. Because, uh, you know, I searched up, but it was in different countries, sold, uh, different times. Uh, maybe there's not that much money uh, in that kind of business in my country. That's all different, but it's just an estimation, and I quite like that. Um, so, yeah, just take with a grain of salt, but, you know, it's at least fun to know. So, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I spent a lot of time on this video. I had to search up every individual item, the worth of it. I had to edit it all together with every scene, 
shorter than everything. It took me a long time. It took me about 10 to 12 hours, just the editing. Uh, not even the research or the recording, but fine. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the ride. I hope you did as well. Let me know in the comments and uh, I might do another one then. Uh, without further ado, let's head on to the outro. Well, that's all for today. I thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe with the image link at the bottom of the screen to become part of the fandom family today. Check out the playlist of this series on the left. Also, you should check out the recommended video on the right. That's all for now and goodbye.